buying a help to buy property in 2022, what I wish I had known. The help to buy equity loan expires at the end of March 2023. So if you want to take advantage of the scheme and purchase a help to buy property in 2022, you most likely need to think about applying before the end of the year. In this video, we go through the process of buying a help to buy property and what you need to know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Alex Kerr. I'm a qualified mortgage broker and my passion is simplifying the mortgage process for first time buyers. Before we start, just a couple of pointers. If you are a first time buyer, remember the first and most important thing to do if you are just starting in the process is to download your Check My File credit report. This displays all of the credit agencies that mortgage lenders use on one report. The report is free for the first 30 days and £14.99 thereafter. The link is in the corner of the screen or in the description below. Let's get into the vid. Help to buy borrowing potential. So the approximate calculation to help you understand how much you can borrow is to calculate your income by four and a half times and then add the equity loan on top. However, the lender will take into account the equity loan repayments, which will reduce that figure by a small amount. And if you have any other credit commitments, that will reduce the amount furthermore. If you want to know your help to buy borrowing amount and or all of your mortgage options as a first time buyer, just book a free no obligation call with us. Once you have established your borrowing potential, you need to find properties within the help to buy scheme. Help to buy properties. This is fairly simple. Just look at the new build properties on all of the main property portals and you will see new build properties within the help to buy scheme. You can then arrange viewings from that point. Buying a help to buy property is more on a first come first serve basis. There are no bidding wars as the price is fixed. You need to reserve the property and a lot of time you need to pay a 500 pound reservation reservation fee. This may be refundable or may not be refundable, so double check that. Once the property is reserved, you will of course need to submit the mortgage application and apply for the help to buy equity loan. Mortgage application. You may be going direct to your bank or through a mortgage advisor. Either way, you need to make sure that the mortgage product you choose is a mortgage product that the lender has provided for the help to buy scheme. Help to buy equity loan. You can apply for the help to buy equity loan yourself by going on the help to buy equity loan portal. It's important that you fit the calculation before you reserve a property. Help to buy do supply a calculator where you can input all of your details and work out if you fit affordability on a particular property. We do include this calculator in our brand new first time buyer pack, which you can download by clicking the link in the corner of the screen or in the description below. Once you apply, help to buy will supply you with something called AT which stands for authority to proceed. This means your help to buy equity loan has been agreed. There is no credit score conducted for a help to buy equity loan. It is based purely on income and expenses. Once everything else is ready, such as your mortgage offer, you'll then need to apply for something called ATE, which stands for authority to exchange. This is towards the end of the process. And once you've received this authority, you can exchange contracts, which means you are the legal owner of the property and then set a completion date to collect your keys and move in. This is what you need to know about the help to buy equity loan. Help to buy equity loan facts. You can borrow a 20% equity loan outside of London or a 40% equity loan within London. This is a percentage of the purchase price. So if you are buying a property for £100,000, you can borrow either 20,000 or 40,000 as an equity loan. You need to put in a minimum of 5% as a deposit yourself. The property must be a new build within the help to buy equity loan scheme. There are regional price caps, which means different regions have a maximum purchase price you can go to, which looks like this. There is no interest to pay for the first five years. You will then pay the loan back at 1.75% interest from year six, which will rise in line with the consumer price index plus 2%. If you are thinking WTF is that, for the average consumer, most of you will probably not know what the consumer price index mean or what the rate is. I feel that they could have made this a bit simpler as when you Google consumer price index, you get all sorts of different types of indexes, some in the UK, some in the US. It's very difficult to understand this calculation. So let's phone up Help to Buy and ask them. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye. Okay, so I just spoke to help to buy and basically they have clarified that the CPI stands for the Consumer Price Index. Now from year six of your help to buy equity loan, you will pay 1.75% of the equity loan balance 
in interest per year. Then that rate will increase every single year in April, and that will be based on the inflation rate at that time, according to the consumer price index, the CPI, plus 2%. As we know at the making of this video, inflation rates have shot up in recent times and is currently 7.8%. So 7.8% plus 2% is going to be 10.8% based on the rates now. I've left the link in the description where you can see the rate of inflation, the tables over the years. Now, if we compare that to the inflation rate, the CPI in April in 2021, it was just 1.6%. So we're now at 7.8%, which is related to the problems in the economy at the moment. So just be very aware of that. It's going to be a really good idea to repay your help to buy equity loan within five years or before year seven, really, which is when the consumer price index starts being added on in interest to your equity loan plus two percent any questions let me know you can part repay or repay the loan in full at any time however the minimum part repayment is 10 percent of your property's purchase price that's the price you purchase the property for which will be up to half of the amount you borrowed outside of london or up to a quarter within london for example, if your property was purchased outside of London for £200,000, then the minimum you need to repay is £20,000, which is 10% of the purchase price. If it was London and the property was £200,000, you likely would have borrowed 40%, meaning the percentage of your equity loan you can repay would be lower, half the amount of the 20% equity loan. Costs of repaying your equity loan. When you repay your equity loan, there will be charges. You will need to pay for a survey from a RICS qualified chartered surveyor to value your property on behalf of help to buy. The reason for this is that you also need to repay a percentage of any of the equity you make since you purchased the property. For example, if you purchase the property for £100,000 and the property is now worth £110,000, which means an increase of £10,000, you will need to repay the percentage of the equity loan you borrowed based on the increase in equity. If your property has not increased in value or even worse has decreased in value, you do not need to pay any extra back to help to buy. So if you borrowed a 20% equity loan, you would need to repay 20% of the £10,000, which is £2,000. That is on top of the loan amount you borrowed. You will be provided with a redemption statement which includes the full calculation. Remortgaging your equity loan. You can pay off your help to buy equity loan when your mortgage deal expires and you need to renew it. This is known as remortgaging. If you have enough equity and your income allows you to do so, you can borrow more to pay off the equity loan. The sooner the equity loan is repaid, the better, as you do not want to repay a percentage of any increases in value. When you remortgage, you will need to contact Target who are the financing company for help to buy. They will provide you with all of the forms that you need to fill in and the process with all of the costs. Depending on the value of your property, this process could be between £500 to £1,000. This includes obtaining a survey, the administration of the help to buy repayment, as well as any solicitor's legal fees. I've left the links on both the equity loan instructions and remortgaging instructions with Target in the description below. Do I think help to buy is worth it? Well, I did get help to buy equity loan myself to buy my current property, and I think it's been great so far, but I obviously want to repay it as quickly as possible to avoid repaying any percentage of the equity loan back. And that should be your plan to, to redeem the help to buy equity loan as quickly as possible. Today's question, are you thinking of a help to buy equity loan in 2022? Let me know. Mortgage warning, please note we do need to let you know that your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up with repayments on your mortgage. So thanks for watching today's video. I hope it has provided you with some useful tips. Please check out the show notes for a recap with access to any links discussed today. Please do consider subscribing and ringing the bell to receive notifications on our latest videos. I've been Alex Kerr providing the best tools and tips to first time buyers. I'll see you in the next one.